In this video, we're visiting a public layout in Copenhagen, Denmark. It has all the features of a public layout, like an amazing scenery, fun animations which are started with a press of a button. But besides from that, Train Gamia differs from all the others, because the visitors control the trains. <laughs> and welcome to this video in which we will go down to Copenhagen in Denmark and have a look at Train Gamia. Train Gamia is a, it's a newly open public layout uh, and I was invited down there for a kind of preview session <laughs> together with some other folks and uh, yeah what can you say I, I've been to Miniature Wonderland several times and many other public layouts and you watch them and you say and you press some buttons and whoa whoa that's cool but Train Gamia really takes it to the next level so if you're interested in model railroading uh, this is definitely the place to go especially if you live in Denmark or in the proximity to to Copenhagen uh, or if you just want a, a some something with your family and a kind of activity go there this is great fun for all ages from 10 and upwards so um, let's let's go there and check it out when first arriving to train game yeah, you get a game card you can go uh, two in yeah. your progress level and experience is linked to your card you swipe the card at the side of the operator console and your data is downloaded. This control here is the most basic one. It has a throttle which controls the speed of the train and some buttons to control functions. At this level you only have to worry about the signal aspects, the speed limits for the route and the weight of the train. So if a signal says stop then the train needs to be stopped ahead of that signal. If the signal instead said reduce speed, you have to reduce the speed accordingly. So if you picked a short and lightweight commuter train, this is not a big issue. But this train here requires a bit more look ahead and planning. If you accidentally run past stop signals or speeding, the ATC system will kick in and your experience points for this mission will be reduced. While other things like controlling the lights and horn gives you additional points. Once you get a hang on controlling the train in this first basic mission, you will level up and gain access to new missions. For newcomers, a co-driver can be activated. It's a kind of tutorial which gives you advice while you're driving the train along the line. You get a result screen once you have completed a mission. Here you can see what went well during the mission, but also what you can improve on for the next one. On the next level, the throttle do not control directly the speed, but the power to the motor. At this level, inclines and declines along the line also have effect on the weight of the cargo which the train is carrying. It may sound, sound complicated and complex, but it's not since you learn step by step through the different missions you're running. And a good thing is that on any level the system will compensate for, for the errors you make. So for instance if you're driving past a signal, well then it will stop and reverse the train back to the position where you should have stopped. But that will of course affect the experience point of the mission. Like here, when the driver have to press emergency brake to stop the train. So in some cases, hitting the emergency brake is better than passing a red stop signal. On Trangamia you can choose from different routes to run your trains. There is also a wide range of different trains which could be run, like this commuter running up to the mountain station. There are local passenger trains as well as long distance express trains. Whenever you decide to change train, the old train is uh, stowed away automatically into the train park parking 
underneath the layout. And the new train you select is forwarded to a starting position for, for that train. Every new train has its own unique features. Like this commuter here, it needs to be reversed on the terminal station to start its journey back to the central station. As you see here, the driver has progressed so far, so the throttle affects the motor power and not directly the speed of the train. Another interesting thing I found uh, after operating this uh, layout uh, over a few missions is that the same mission can turn out very different from one time to another depending on how many other operators there were in the room because the more operators the more trains running on layout the greater challenge to keep track of signals and and the other train movement so that together with night mode and you know forward looking camera mode in the operator the cockpit view was uh, well <laughs> this installation can keep you busy for a, a long while only a drawback i found after being on train gamia was that coming home to my own layout i immediately was missing all of the fancy features with the controls and, and the missions so uh, i actually started to rewrite the entire the freight and the passenger forwarding system i have on my layout but well it's uh well not even half the way if you compare to all the fancy features here on, on train game yeah. so i will definitely revisit this location all right <laughs> So that gives you a bit of flavor of what Train Gamia is uh, all about. Uh, this guy has uh, been uh, managing or running the project, Dominic. Uh, has been working five years on, on this and uh, I've been assisting also with uh, some uh, scenery works on, on, the, on the layout. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great. And also the location for the layout is, is fine. <laughs> I, after this session, I, I, went, uh, I walked down to the beach and had uh, a pizza uh, with a beer <laughs> at the beachfront. And there are some cafes uh, and restaurants also in the same block. Uh, and also the hotel. Go see the hotel uh, was in the same block as this, uh, as this train game. Yeah. So if you have the chance, uh, drop by, try it. It's, uh, it's definitely something else compared to anything I've, I've seen so far. So <laughs> I, I, I wish uh, Dominic best of luck with, with this project and uh, uh, you, viewer, go there. It's, uh, it's a great fun. The only drawback, as I said, is when you come home to your own layout, you, you miss the advanced controls and, and the uh, advanced uh, uh, sessions you run there. So I will definitely be going back. If you have use for the information uh, provided on this channel, please support the channel. Uh, get over to Patreon, set up a support account there from, you know, like one, two dollars per month. Or make a one-off donation uh, using the PayPal dialogue found in the video description below. And if you're not yet member, become a, a subscriber member of the channel uh, and enable that little bell as well. And you will get a notification once next video gets published. Until that happens, see you.